Hey everybody, welcome back to Man in the House. Today we're in the office space. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my office setup uh, where we do a lot of the editing and then we're gonna jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that green screen that we did in the last video. So I've already shot the green screen footage that we're gonna use for this video. I'm gonna take you on this quick tour, so stay tuned. All right, guys, not much to see from an office perspective. You know, you would imagine that you go into an office, you're going to see some books and all that stuff. So off to my left here, you see my bookshelf, uh, lots of books on the shelf, a lot of Bibles, Bible study tools, ministry tools, stuff like that, top to bottom, tons of stuff. Out there is my patio that I can look out and and then, of course, I got my curio with all of our, you know, kind of knickknacks and stuff, as well as some of our things that were made by our kids when they were younger. I'll show you guys a little, a few of those things. A little stuff that, you know, Dalvin and Darius made over the years. There's a picture of Darius. He's going to kill me for showing y'all that. And then some of the other things, Dalvin's race cars that he made when he was in Iwana's. Um, some of the trophies he won and and then of course down here some of Darius's trophies and stuff for books and beyond for modeling for gymnastics as you can see right there uh, some of the ribbons he won and of course some other stuff down at the bottom there awards but it's pretty much our curio a lot of people put crystals and stuff in there we just put a lot of our memorabilia old picture of me and Beth if y'all can see that I was back in the day and of course some awards and stuff that I had at the on the top and then you get into the regular office space I told you guys sometimes you hear that fountain in the background that's the fountain down there it's my little fountain that uh kind of keeps the room tranquil and of course desktop got my laptop hooked up over there next to the iPad and then another desktop computer over here uh, that we're going to be doing some editing on. So with that, I'm going to jump into the editing and show you guys how to utilize the green screen, change the backgrounds, and do some of the things that uh, they do in the movies. All right, here we go. I have opened up my Adobe Premiere Pro uh, software on the computer. Uh, as you can see, I have a sample slate of green screen that we're going to use for our green screen tutorial. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. Uh, I talked about in the last video green screen and green screen editing. As you can see, I took some clips from the last video so I can show you uh, exactly what I did to put this together. All right, so first off, remember how we talked about green screens needing to be evenly lit, lit uh, and how important it was to evenly light your green screen when it comes to the post-processing or this portion of the um, video editing process. So as you can see, I have the green screen slate here, and I'm going to go ahead and add what we call chroma key or in Adobe Premiere Pro, it is the ultra key uh, effect. So I'm going to click on effects up here and I'm going to go over here to ultra key and I'm going to drop the ultra key, drag and drop that right over onto my green screen picture there. All right, so if you notice over on the side here, up at the top, it says effects controls and I have if you go down there you'll find your ultra key there and then all you have to do is click on the dropper the little droplet looking uh, thing there click that drag it over to your green screen and click it so what you see is my green screen has turned to a black screen and if you notice the black screen is not all black evenly you have some shading and shadowing down here at the bottom that's your first indication that your green screen is not evenly lit. So before you go layering on top of this, uh, your subject or whatever it is that you want to put for a green screen background, you really want to make sure you get this as evenly black as possible. 
So with that, I'm going to scroll down here, as you can see on this side, and I'm going to open up the Mat Generation uh, tools here. And I'm going to start to utilize some of these tools to even out this black so that it's black consistently across the whole square. All right, with that, I think I'm going to I'm going to use our shadow function here. And if you notice, if you click on it, you can type numbers in, or if you just hover over it, you see your arrows left and right, and you can grab it and adjust left and right. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this and see if we can't dial down our shadow there a little bit. So as you can see, I want to do as least of, the least amount of adjusting to it because you'll notice that if you do too much adjusting, it'll start to affect your subject uh, once you overlay um, your image on top of it. So I'm going to just go down here to it just starts to go away and that looks maybe a little bit more maybe I'll go to 42 so it looks pretty even now and I'll keep that like that and now I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my stock of images over here I'm gonna hop into my green screen tutorial project and as you can see all of those backgrounds that I had in the last video I have populated into my green screen tutorial project folder alright so I'm gonna take that first one which was the cosmos and I'm gonna layer the cosmos on here so first thing I wanna do is make sure my layers are the same size and it looks like they are so if you notice when I put the cosmos there it's not the size of the full screen so it doesn't fill in everything so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that and go to scale to frame size and that got me bigger but not quite all the way there so I'm gonna just make sure I got my cosmos highlighted I'm gonna go up to my scale and I'm gonna zoom that up a little bit just so everything is all covered now if you notice over in the next video clip as I slide over you see me in front of that uh, when you're doing green screens it's done in layers so you'll see my green screen that I started with which will be your image screen so if you shot yourself like I did in this this clip on a green screen the green screen is essentially behind me and I am on the green screen as you saw in the last video so in this particular case, I have the cosmos behind me. If I were to move that up above me, all of a sudden I'm no longer in the picture and the cosmos is in front of me. And that's how you do your layering when you're doing your green screen work. So here's me. And if I want something behind me, it has to be below the subject video. All right, so now you see we've gone from just having a green screen to having me as a subject on the green screen. If you recall in the next clip, if I slide over, I was on Mount Everest. So I'm gonna show you real quickly how I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this out of the way because it doesn't matter. I'll slide this. I'll just go ahead and delete this off of here. So I'm deleting that. And so now you see that same green screen if I were to highlight that and go ahead and I'll note that, take away my green screen altogether up here, I'll just click the FX and turn that green screen off. You see that I have moved that image up and I have also cropped it. So I'm going to turn the crop off. and I am going to zoom that back up to a hundred click on that take my 45 degree rotation off and then this is usually about 960 and 540 you'll get used to those uh, those numbers uh, as you start playing with the software so now you see this was the original picture 
uh, me on the green screen before I started doing any editing. So let's go back and do what I just undone. First thing I did was I had added the ultra key, as you see off to the right here, onto my, my video clip. And that's where I got the ultra key. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my ultra key back on. And now you see that in order to get this as black as I did, I didn't really touch the shadows too much. I used the pedestal option to get this black around me. Once I got that black, I went ahead and I grabbed the Mount Everest background and I slid that right in there. So now you notice that the original file was actually longer than my video clip. So I'm going to take my cut tool right here and I'm just going to cut that right out real quick. Cut the extra out and I'm just going to delete that off of there. Sometimes I got to stretch it out a little bit to get it. I'm going to cut that and now you'll see my background fits nicely right up underneath uh, the source image. All right, so now you see the background around me. I'm going to go ahead and zoom that or scale that to the frame size. So I'm going to scale the frame size. And just how we did in the previous uh, video clip, I'm going to have to zoom this up so that it fits the entire frame. So now that I've zoomed it up, you see me and you see Mount Everest. But to get my head up there, I had to do a little bit of resizing and tweaking. So first off, I'm going to highlight the source video like we like I did before. And I'm going to start tweaking this down. I believe I scaled myself to about 36. So I reduced myself down to 36. So you see here my little face there and I'm going to put myself up there. Now you can do that a couple different ways. You can start over here and put in your rotation at 45 degrees and just type it in or you can double click on the subject and you can essentially move the subject around in here whichever is easier for you so personally I like to just do the numbers over here so I'm gonna go 45 degrees and then I'm going to take my position section up here and the right side is the up and down. The left side is the left and right. And it pretty much goes, you know, if you drag left, it goes left. If you drag right, it goes right. It's a little bit opposite of the, uh, on the up and down. I believe if you drag right, it goes down. And then left, it goes up. So I'm going to go drag myself up here. And then I'm going to take the left right position and drag myself over to the same spot that I was before. Just keep doing that. Go up just a little bit more. And as you can see, I'm a little too big. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna drop that down to about 18 in the scale. And come down a little bit. And back over to the left until I get that right up on the edge there where it looks like it's blending in with the angle of that mountain. Perfect. So now, now that I got the image right where I want it, if I want to scale it up a little bit more, make my head a little bit bigger, I can do that. Uh, maybe 130. See how that looks up. Oh, when you're doing that, if you, if you notice my image size got bigger instead of my head and the reason for that I'm gonna put this right back the reason for that is because you need to make sure your source video is highlighted before you start making the changes so I'm gonna go back up to about 36 there and then move this back over here and maybe 20 So that is pretty much how you do it. And of course we did the same thing with the Nebo images over here as well. Same exact concept as I did in the first two sections. 
just a different background. So that's green screen in a nutshell. Um, keys to making this work are even lighting. It will work with 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 uh, when your lighting is not even, but it is a lot more work in trying to get all of the shadows out and making sure the background that you put put in is going to look uh, nice and even for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me know if you have questions on how to do it or questions on the equipment needed to get it done or anything of that sort. And uh, or if you want to see some tutorials on some other stuff as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.